Hello. I hope this message finds you and your family enjoying a wonderful fall season. In less than a week, our country will embark on a history-making election. It goes without saying that this has been a focus for many over the past months. I wanted to share with you that our faculty has done an excellent job in using the salient event to inform instruction around the electoral process. For example, our youngest learners at the Roosevelt School held their own teddy bear election and participated in a dance version of the election slide. At the high school level, a well-orchestrated student debate took place. Deep conversations surrounding the issues facing our country were a core of the debate. Our local legislators, including Supervisor John Venditto and Senator Carl Marcellino, participated in this special activity. A word of acknowledgement must be given to both Ms. Sarah Jean Anderson, Supervisor of K-12 Social Studies, as well as Sarah Gershon, one of our seniors, who took a leadership role in this event. It almost seems fitting that our grade five students will participate in the social studies examination administered by the State Education Department the second week of November. Please take note that our grade seven through nine musical will be performed on Friday and Saturday, November 21st and 22nd. We look forward to their version of the hit show High School Musical. Please refer to our district website for ticket information. By law, each school district must participate in an early release day, one time per year. As has become tradition in Oyster Bay, students will be released early on Wednesday, November 26th, the day before we break for our Thanksgiving holiday. Finally, our grand opening ribbon cutting ceremonies will take place on Saturday morning, November 22nd. Please join us at 9 a.m. at Oyster Bay High School, where participants will be able to see our beautiful new science labs that were renovated, as well as those that were newly constructed. A similar ribbon cutting ceremony will take place at the Vernon School that same morning where all aspects of the new construction can be seen. In addition, the hardworking members of the fundraising committee for Anthony's Garden will hold their dedication ceremony at 12 noon that same day. We are extremely proud of what we have accomplished as far as our facilities improvements. And again, we acknowledge and thank the entire community for their support in this endeavor. It would be terrific if you could take time out of your busy schedule to join us on that morning. However, if you are unable to make it and would still like an opportunity to see the new facilities, please feel free to call my office and I will do all that I can to give you a private tour. As you can see, I am extremely proud of this effort. In conclusion, I use this opportunity to wish you and your family a happy and healthy Thanksgiving season. Even during these turbulent times, I think we can all agree that we have much to be thankful for.